Hello, my lovely Libras, and a very warm welcome to your August 2021 horoscope forecast. This month, Mars is going to be in your 12th house all month. And Mars in the 12th house is a wonderful time for putting energy into anything metaphysical, whether it's astrology, tarot, crystals, numerology, past lives, dreams. It's a wonderful time for putting energy into your internal world. Soon enough, it's going to come into your sign. But this month, the focus is on you internally, getting in tune with your body, getting in tune with your emotions, your mind, getting in tune with the unseen forces. You know how it is. You go and you're maybe in a room and you sense there's been an argument there before. You pick up on something that's unseen. So it's an opportunity to put energy into developing that part of you. You might be getting into channeling, into developing your psychic abilities further and exploring that. Now, on the 8th of the month, we've got a new moon happening here in your 11th house, lovely Libras. Big focus on the 11th house. So this is new opportunities for you to do with friendships, to do with a social circle, to do with community. Many of you have been looking for a community of like-minded individuals. And here with a new moon there, an opportunity for some new people to come into your world. Maybe a new group, maybe um, a new opportunity for collaboration, for getting together with people and doing something constructively together. With the sun and Mercury there, you may learn of different groups that are really, oh, this sounds interesting. Oh, I think I'll, I'll find out about that. So it's just a wonderful time for making contacts with new people. On the 12th of the month, Mercury is going into this 12th house, joining Venus and Mars there. So this is just even more digging and delving into this esoteric world, finding out gems of information, getting messages and downloads. You might be writing, you might be playing music, you might be playing gongs and sound bowls, whatever it is, you might be painting. Just go further with it and enjoy it and immerse yourself in it. You might be getting into nature and to animals more. On the 17th of the month, your ruler Venus comes into your sign, lovely Libras. Venus in your sign, what could be nicer? It means you're popular, people love you even more. It's a great time for bringing peace and harmony into relationships. It's a great time for having a makeover, doing something beautiful for you so that you feel good about you, loving you. It's a great time for relationships generally, personal and business. On the 22nd of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your fifth house. So this axis of the 11th and fifth house, this is shining a light and saying Libras, what are you doing creatively? A creative project may come to fruition. A business idea you may put into place. So it's great for your own business. It's great for anything creative. And it's just encouraging you and saying, come on Libra, go for it. Do what you love, do what you enjoy. Take a chance, take a risk. On the 23rd of the month, the sun comes into this 12th house and on the 31st, Mercury comes into your sign. So as we move through the month, a bit more on the 12th house, you going inside and also you seeing from doing all that inner work that your outer world is beginning to change. 
People see you differently, relate to you differently, with more respect, with more dignity. You feel stronger in your relationships. So there you have it, my beautiful Libras. I thank you so much for listening and for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.